Hi guys, thanks for joining me on Summer with Ben Brushes. And in honor of Nurses Week, we are gonna paint this. So stay tuned and I will show you exactly how to do that. So here's a list of supplies that you'll need. And if you happen to have a ruler, it will come in handy. If not, don't worry about it. So I'm gonna start off with an eight by 10 gallery rack canvas. I do offer free sketch canvases on my website and I will link that in, this, in the description box below and right here. Okay, let's get started. We know that we need a collar and I'm going to bring it to about four inches down. You know, that's where my middle point will be. And then from there, I'm just gonna connect. So I'll make it like a V shape for her neck, her neckline. pocket will come about two inches below that. So maybe two and a half inches. And if you want to eyeball this in, that's fine. It's just easier with the ruler. And I'm going to have that go all the way down, maybe like an inch off of the bottom. And then we can roughly connect that. Happy with that. So let me make this line a little heavier so you can see that. Perfect. And now for the most important part, your stethoscope. So I have it coming down from the top of the neck and the scrubs, coming straight down into a heart. And the heart, you can pretty much decide where you want it. I'm just gonna sketch it in here. I have some on her, on her chest. I loop it around and the stethoscope actually ends like kind of on her pocket. So I'll draw that in. And connect it. And then trace exactly what I just did. All right, and I'm happy with that. Now for the other side, it comes down from the other side of her neck. Okay, and then from here, it's going to branch off into two sections. Cross. And 
into little smaller hearts. Okay, now that our sketch is done, we can get started with our painting portion. Um, you will want some kind of palette. Um, this is just a regular plastic plate. And on it I have uh, white, brown, black, blue, and red. Blue you can use for any color, any color that you want for your scrubs um, or his scrubs. Um, I'm going to make this red and white into a nice pink. This is going to be my skin color. You can use any skin color you want. If you are going to make a lighter skin color, I would start with white and then add uh, like some burnt sienna to it to make it a little bit darker. Um, what you want is a smaller brush. I have a round uh, zero and a larger brush. I'm using my three eighths um, angle. You don't have to be particular about the brushes, but um, these are what I'm using. You want to dip your brush in your water. And I do want her skin fairly dark, so I won't be mixing any white or any other colors to my brown, my, my burnt umber. I'm just going to go straight in. And I'm going to use the outline of her collar. Keep the first layer of skin very thin by adding more water to your brush. And I'm going right over that heart that we just made. And because my layer of skin is so thin, you can still see your outline with no problem. you touch your canvas with your brush the smoother your brush strokes will be so it's easier to blend and get less streaks with a softer touch okay that's my that's my first layer I'm gonna go and clean off my brush and jump right into my scrubs. For, my, for the bulk of my scrubs, I'm going to make a lighter blue. So I'm just gonna pull out some of that blue and mix it with a little white. And again, you can make your scrubs any color you want. Um, I would just make a lighter version of that um, color or a darker version of that color for the color. And your entire background will get painted in that color that you picked for your scrubs. I'm just gonna go ahead and cover everything up. 
And for this, you're definitely using your larger brush. Because it covers a greater surface. I'm not going to cover my stethoscope. At this point, I'm just going to go around it.
I'm gonna let this dry very quickly. Okay, while that dries, I've cleaned off my brush really good. I'm gonna get back into my brown and give my skin a second coat. This time I'm gonna leave that section where the heart is. Now I'm gonna fill in my stethoscope. And pull out some of my red and white. When I'm happy with the color that I've created, I'll add that right to my stethoscope. I'm still using my angle brush. Let all the way down. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to outline it. And I'm going to bring that up into the neck as well.
And then because I have the pink in my hand, I'm just going to finish off the ends with my detail brush. brushes and then I'm going to do some of my details stick with my larger flat brush and because my scrubs are a lighter blue I'm going to go into my original blue my dark blue and make a color so I'm just going to go make that outline a little bit bigger the outside of her skin detail brush I'm going to get into this red to make my outline To get a nicer point on your brush, what you do is you roll, roll your brush inside the paint. You get a nice point. Sometimes you lose that point and your lines are not as sharp.
Important to note when you're overlapping to make sure that your lines follow what comes first. So these lines will go under my heart. So I'm not going to cross over the top. Until I get here. I take my white with just a tiny bit of red in it. To finish off. You can leave it like this, but uh, just to make it stand out a little bit more, I'm gonna quickly outline everything in black. to my white and add a couple of highlights just to bring some of these details out. Also add some little splatters to my original piece to make it fun. Have it 
how you do that is you get into your whichever color you want and you make it like a watercolor so you add a lot of water to it and on your brush and you can take your brush i'm using my my uh a large flat for this you can take your blood this is a little bit messy to pull your bristles back and you splat them across your canvas and that makes and i'm just going to do that like on my pink areas i like that <laughs> your pink i'm going to get into the red and make it very very liquidy add some white to it make it super runny this is definitely the last step because you don't want to ruin your all your paint and just like we just did just go right over make this flat i added the word nurse to the pocket you can put your name here if you'd like but that's it thank you for painting with me i hope you had a great time and i hope to see you again in my next video don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a painting bye